Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera to Dr. Lo Kuan Ken and audience. Before I start, allow me to introduce my group members. My name is Nur Adina, along with Nur Afika, Nurul Najiha and Nur Aina Sasadila. We are from group Business Desire and in this video, we will explain about one company, Lee Grande Chambers Business Model Canvas. In this video, I will present about company background. Our company name is Le Grande Chamber. Le Grande Chamber is a business that focusing in manufacturing and selling modern furniture with variety design. Our business has established in April 2018 and our form of business is partnership. Let me introduce the meaning behind every detail of our logo. As you can see, the background of our logo is in turquoise and yellow color as that color represents the modern and creative innovation of our product. The illustration of chair is to represent our main product which is chair and lastly, the case on the chair is represents our committed members in organization. Moving on to the vision of our company, we aspire to be a leading international furniture manufacturer offering innovative and superior quality products while our mission is to create value for our customers through reliability and flexibility. Now, let me introduce the four partners in our company. First, Nur Adina as the General Manager. Second, me as the Administration Manager. Third, Nurul Najia as the Operational and Marketing Manager. And lastly, Nur Aina Salsadila as the Financial Manager. Each of us has our own task and responsibility to ensure the growth of our company in the future. Without further ado, I shall discuss the problems and counter follow by solution to those problems. First problem is theft case in public area, particularly restaurants and food courts. This is when people are not carefully paying attention to their surroundings and it is actually easy for thieves to steal their belongings. So our smart chest functional is they can store their things in the store securely while enjoying their meal. Furthermore, mostly students bring their bag to attend the class and they are struggle to keep the bag. Many of them just put the bags on the table or they may put on the floor. This action might disturb others and take a lot of space. By using our product, it helps users to keep their belongings with ease and save more space. Lastly, many households force to entertain unexpected guests and it definitely can throw a household into complete chaos. They need to rush clean and keep the things away before the guests arrive and there is not enough space to store the household item. However, there no need to worry again as everything can be uh, need to store the item in one area. Next, I will uh, explain about customer segment. Customer segment involves the process of dividing the customers into few groups based on their types such as preference, ages, and location. By having such division, we could provide marketing that's suitable for them and could attract them to buy our product. Firstly, we targeted business owner. This is because they usually purchase a product in a huge amount, for instance like restaurant owner or food court owner. By multifunctioning the uh, usage of chair, it limits the utilization for one person per chair. We also targeted private and government organization whereas to suffice their needs such as university and school utilities. In this organization, a huge amount of our product needs to accommodate the amount of students for instance like in classroom or in the hall lecture. Next, we try to attract individual customer especially to a household because they are more likely to generate economy by involving in the trading activity. Next is value proposition. Value proposition is the important element in our company since we need to have a plan in order to convince our customer to choose our product instead of others. The first value proposition is to come up with variety of color and size. This is to ensure that our customer can make their own decision because various people have different tastes. Moreover, the satisfaction of the product. We have to make sure that our customer deserve a good quality of the product concomitant to the money that they spend. We also need to do it to ensure that we can stay longer in this business. There are many competitors out there and we must ensure that ours is excellent enough to compete to compete with them. And finally is to enlist a good quality of product with affordable price. We must to ensure that our price is not excessive enough for people to buy one but we can't uh, set low price that will negatively impact the business but rather a fair price. Now, we look at the channel of SmartChair. To attract more local and international customers, our company is using Facebook as a social media platform to raise awareness about our SmartChair. It helps our company to connect with customers and allow them to give information about the products and services including promoting, upcoming events and many more. 
Uh, we are also available on Shopee and Lazada, which provide an easier procedure to place order. Customer can make payments via online banking, which is very easy and save times and energy. We are not only focusing on e-commerce, but we also available in physical store. There are certain people who love to shop in store rather than online shopping. In a physical store, they always have the possibility to test and try things on, which is very helpful to give trust to our cu customer. We are also used direct selling to promote and sell our products, especially to business owners and organizations. We reach into them by send email, text messages, flyers, catalog, letters, or postcards. In the context of customer relationship, it shows how we interact with the customers and create a strong bonding with them. There are some ways that we took to create the bonding with our customer, which is firstly, we provide the membership card. The function of membership card is the customer receive their discount after they collected the points when they made the purchase of our product. Secondly, we provide catalog that include the picture and price of our product as the references for customers in order to choose various type of furniture. Next, we give the product warranty for one year. During the warranty period, if product has any problem or get broke, the customer can contact with us and then we extend to the new one. Other than that, we will be given a form to our customer for them to fill in if there are anything that they want to comment regarding our services. Next, I will explain about the revenue stream. Revenue stream is a source of income of a company or organization. So our company's main income is through the registration of small traders under us to become an agent. They must first complete the registration form in our outlet or website. So for those who qualify as agents must uh, are required to pay 50 ringgit um, as agents package which include agents name card, price list and sample of product. Then we get revenue through product sales at physical store. If they are satisfied with the product, they just directly buy our product at the physical store. And we also generate revenue through customers who sign up to join a membership in our business. For instance, when a customer wants to activate a membership card or renew their membership card, a fee of 30 ringgit will be required. And the membership cards are valid for one year and the customer need to renew their membership in order to get special price when they purchase our product. Okay, next is about key resources. Our main source is through physical source such as machinery with good conditions. We are a company that uh, manufactures and sells smart chairs, so we need a machines that specialize in the production of chairs. The machines we use are assembly machines and cutting machines. The second physical resource is transportation. We need to transport our products to store, so we use the transport um, such as a lorry. And the third resource is human resources, which is the employees. Our employees consist of marketing experts, staff at store, and the mechanic or the software specialist. So marketing experts are staff who has the creativity to advertise and promote our product. Staff are able to serve customer well and to make sure the business runs smoothly while the software specialist is the one that able to identify products deficiencies before placing them um, at the store. And finally, our company needs a financial resource such as capital. So of course, our company needs capital before starting a business because capital is very important that we use it to buy raw materials, uh, machinery, payment of employee salaries, and many more. To put in a nutshell, the business model canvas is vital to construct a business model with the promise of efficiency when running a business. It is a main factor that shows that competency the business is doing well or otherwise. By doing business model canvas, we gain more chances in learning and gain knowledge in doing business and entrepreneurship. Business model canvas helps our teams to overcome the problem that might occur in our business in future. Based on SWOT analysis in the business model canvas, Le Grande Chambre can analyze the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat in the business. Therefore, it will help our company to manage the business using the proper strategy using SWOT analysis. Overall, Le Grande Chambre hope that BMC could assist in developing the proper business in entrepreneurship. Thank you.